I just blow dried my hair and I was hoping for a little bit more movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I use my curling iron. Supplies we'll need, super skinny serum from Paul Mitchell, love it. The Chi Iron Guard. This protects your hair from the heat. Curling iron. This one's from Paul Mitchell. On and preheating. Clips and a brush. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little super skinny serum. Just to help protect my hair and keep it looking smooth. Then the Chi Iron Guard, travel size. I'm gonna go ahead and brush all that through. Make sure there's no knots or tangles in my hair. And we are ready to curl. What I always like to do is curl my hair away from my face. It's a little bit of a softer look, um, but experiment if you wanna do it the other way just to see how it goes. So the clip is away from me. I put it near my roots to make sure that they're nice and smooth because my hair is very curly. Pull it out halfway, my ends are hanging. Twist once, click a little bit, twist again, Click some more till those ends are gone. And because I like a smoother look, I don't go all the way to my root. If you wanted more volume, go all the way down to your root. I don't want that, so I'll stay out here. Leave it again, like 10 seconds. If your curling iron is hot enough, you won't need it more than like 10 seconds. I'll run my fingers through it as it cools, just so it's not too tight of a curl. That encourages the hair to fall a little bit. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like to curl your hair a little bit higher. I do start pretty low. So clip away from my face, everything goes back. That's just the way I do it. Okay, so we twist it almost immediately. Click, 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 click. Twist, 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 twist. Hold, hot. So just a little bit more volume than the other side. If I know I'm going out on like a boat or a date night where I'm gonna be outside, I will do it a little bit higher because I know being outside and sweating that this would fall. important thing when you're curling your hair is to not burn your hair so not more than like 10-15 seconds and to also not burn yourself if you want to keep your curl a long time don't run your fingers through it what I would do is let this curl completely cool before you brush it out and it would stay tighter longer. I do work in smaller sections around the front of the hair just because it's more delicate, it heats up faster, 
so smaller sections I can get my details in a little bit better. So, and by brushing my fingers through it, it does soften the curl quite a bit, but the curl is always there and will always bounce back. So with these two front pieces, this one and this one, I like to pull my hair just like when I blow dry, this way, oh, opposite the way it's going to fall. Technically it's going to fall this way, but by doing that, you again give yourself the most volume. Flat iron a little bit, twist, click, click. You need to open the curling iron a little bit so that the hair moves. If you don't open it, you're just ripping through your hair. So clicking helps. Oh, that's beautiful. So this is when I would go back in with the littlest, littlest bit of super skinny. So now, paddle brush. I only recommend using the paddle brush if you're going for more of a wave. If you want to keep that curl nice and tight and look more like um, Shirley Temple, don't brush. Just play with your fingers. But the brushing for me just releases that curl just enough to where I'm happy. So this is my final result. Let me know what you think. I love curling my hair. And I just think it looks beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below what you learned and I'll see you soon. Pull down your arm.